Hello students, continuing with chapter 7, Triangles, we will take a look at a solved examples which is going to be based on the ASA test of similarity that we learnt in the previous class and we will quickly jump to exercise 7.1 of your textbooks. So let's see what is given for the solved example. You have AB is parallel to CD. So these arrows indicate that AB is parallel to CD. O is the midpoint of AD. Therefore, OA is equal to OD. Correct? We need to prove that the two triangles are congruent. So which are the two triangles? Let's go in order. AOB and DOC. We need to prove that this triangle is congruent to this triangle. And we also need to prove that O is the midpoint of BC. So in short, what do we need to prove? That OC is equal to OB. So let us see how we do this. Now since, uh, now considering these two triangles, that is AOB and DOC, what do I have? CD is parallel to AB, therefore angle CDO is equal to angle BAO. By alternate angles, we have a vertically opposite angle over here, so AOB is equal to DOC, correct? And we have two, we prove that two angles here are equal and there is a side between them that is equal, that is OA is equal to OD. Therefore, the two triangles are congruent by the ASA test of similarity, uh, congruence. Also, what we can say is that OC, uh, let's say OB is equal to OC. Why? Because they are corresponding parts of congruent triangles. Therefore, o, o becomes the midpoint of BC. So, let's go ahead and prove this and also write the solution. So, I'll say proof. AB is parallel to CD. Therefore, what do I get? Angle OAB is equal to angle ODC by alternate angles and mark this statement as 1. Now in triangle AOD, AOB and triangle DOC. What do I have? I have, let us mark this what we have proved. I have angle OAB is equal to angle ODC from 1, correct? Also I have OA is equal to OD. Why? Because O is the midpoint of AD, correct? And also vertically opposite angles over here which would be AOB is equal to angle DOC. vertically opposite angles. See the order in which I am taking. I am taking AOB and DOC. So the corresponding vertices are very important. A corresponds to D. So A to D. Then O corresponds to O obviously and B corresponds to C. So see the sequence. Okay. Therefore I can say triangle AOB is congruent to triangle DOC by the ASA test, right? Therefore, what can I say? O, o B is equal to O C, correct? Why? Corresponding parts of congruent triangles. Therefore, O, o is dividing B C into equal parts, right? Therefore, O is the midpoint of BC and we will mark it here if you want, right? So this winds up the solved example. We will move on to exercise 7.1. Let us read the question. We have AC is equal to AD which is marked. AB bisects A, uh, AB bisects angle A. So which is my angle? My angle is CAD or DAC. It is get, getting bisected by the angular bisector AB. Therefore, I have CAB 
is equal to DAC, correct? I need to prove that the two triangles are congruent. So, which are my two triangles? ABC and ABD. So, we are going ABC and ABD. A corresponds to A, B corresponds to B and C corresponds to D. So, whenever we are mentioning C anywhere, we are going to write D for proving, uh, for proving congruency or correspondence. What can you say about BC and BD? So, we will uh, we'll take a look at what can we say about BC and BD. But let us see how we are going to prove the two triangles congruent. So, if you notice your triangles ABC and ABD, what do I get? I have AC is equal to AD which is given. I have CAB is equal to DAB. Why? Because AB bisects angle CAD. Therefore, the two angles made adjacent angle made are congruent by the angle bisector property. Also, we have this side common. AB for both the triangles which is going to be equal right therefore the two triangles ABC and ABD are congruent by the SAS test of congruence. Now since the two triangles are congruent let us see for BC and BD we can prove that BC is equal to BD through the corresponding parts of congruent triangles. Now let us go ahead and prove this. So I will say proof in triangle ABC and triangle ABD, I have AB as common side, then I have triangle CAB is equal to triangle DAB. AB bisects angle A, correct? And AC is equal to AD, which is given, correct? Therefore, I have triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ABD by SAS test. Why SAS test? I have a side I have an angle in between and I have a side. So, an angle between two sides, therefore side, angle, side. The two triangles are congruent. Therefore, what can we say about BC and BD? Therefore, BC is equal to BD corresponding parts of congruent triangles. Pretty simple, isn't it? We will take a look at the remaining questions of exercise 7.1 uh, in the next class. Thank you. Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our ePathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for maths, physics, chemistry and biology. So subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win ePathshala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.